Do you notice the weaknesses of the other party in negotiation? Hello everyone, I am Dr. Srikanj Reja from Center for Learning and Development Lloyd Law College. In negotiations, we usually know our weaknesses, but we do not bother the weaknesses of the other party. Let me share an example with you. My friend badly wanted to buy a two-wheeler. So he went to a person who was selling a two-wheeler scooter and he got the opening offer of 24,000 with a small request of that the price is fixed and he was very happy to accept that opening offer. Now my friend had three weaknesses here. The first was that he was driving his father-in-law's scooter and he always felt very embarrassing to drive his scooter. It was more of a self-esteem factor. Second weakness was that he really wanted to go somewhere tomorrow early morning and he had no scooter so he had to buy that. And third was that it was within his budget because his budget was 25,000 and he was getting it in 24,000. So he was very happy that even having three weaknesses, I'm getting a very good deal. 24,000 for a scooter, not a bad deal at all. Now to a very surprise, on the other hand, the seller who sold the scooter also had three weaknesses. And he was, after selling the scooter, he was enjoying his, his, his best time with his wife. Weakness number one, he had to pay his home loan the very next day. So he needed that money badly. Second was, was that his insurance of the scooter was going to expire in the next two weeks. He had to renew it. And the third was that his scooter was driven by eight family members. So it was not a single on a ride scooter. It was a more of a family scooter than a single ride scooter. And he was enjoying the moment of his life because he sold it a very right Time. So did you notice, if you're a buyer and you do a simple inquiry, a simply you just ask questions from your seller about the scooter, the background, the history. If you even spend 15-20 minutes on discussion, you can get the answers of your lifetime which can save a lot of money and can give you a better deal. What about having this pitch, giving a counter offer to the seller that sir, I would only pay 20,000 for this scooter. As you know, it is overdriven by multiple family members of yours. And this insurance is also getting renewed in the next two weeks. What about this? Remember one thing, every money saved is a money earned. <laughs>